This is my boat, the Igata, a 38-foot fiberglass power troller. My parents actually had it built in 1977, and then I took it over when they retired in their late 70s. My grandfather hand-trolled in Alaska, my father fished, and both my sons still fish sand. This uh, cabin was designed by my mother, Marilyn Jordan, years ago. And it's set up to be open so you don't feel cramped in. We also, we have a uh, coffee uh, maker. We drink a lot of coffee. The vessel is a drug-free vessel. No drugs, but quite a bit of coffee to sustain us in the long hours. What is was one of the highlights of being part of a family operation. There's not very many times when you get to see your your parent interact with their parents. So I got to kind of see you see you being parented. So a little bit of role reversal. <laughs> a little multi-generational. Um, yeah, so my grandparents built the boat in the late 70s. Um, Grandpa said that he named it the I Gotta because uh, my grandma was always saying, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And uh, she said, that's not why we named it the Igata. They named it the Igata because I got to go fishing. And, um, you know, she just really loved it and was very passionate about it. You know, my grandparents fishing with them uh, when they were in their 70s, they taught me a good work ethic, how to be resourceful, how to solve problems. Um, that's just been kind of ingrained in me. And a big part of our tradition in the fisheries here in Alaska is the first fish of the season we eat. And you can extend that to the different species. So when I was growing up, the first king salmon of the season we ate, the first coho we ate, the first pink salmon, mother would always bake it. And I was kind of, it kept you in touch with, the, with these wonderful creatures and it showed respect for them and it also was an appreciation of the food we're catching for other people to eat that we value it very highly ourselves. <laughs>